In the previous two videos, we talked about the fact that technology will impact jobs. And we also talked about the fact that this phenomena is nothing new. However, it is not new doesn't mean it will not impact our lives in the future. We also talked about that. So it's time to see one more side of this story, which is much brighter than the previous two sides we saw. Are you ready? Let's go. First of all, impacting jobs is different from killing jobs. Killing jobs is different from taking away people's livelihoods. Let's understand that. If automation has been killing jobs in general, the number of jobs in this world must be shrinking. Do you agree? If technology and automation consistently took away jobs, the employment graph over time should look a steep downhill slide like this one on the left here. And the unemployment graph should look like a steep uphill climb, like the one on the right. Correct? Now let's see what the reality is. Here is a chart with the number of jobs in the US from 1950 until 2019. Total number of jobs have consistently been on the rise, with some sectors obviously rising more than others. But overall numbers on the rise. Well, you might argue that US data may not represent the entire world. So, let's look at a different country. Let's move to a different continent altogether. Let's look at India. Here is the Indian chart. This also shows similar data from 1991 to 2019. At the midst of, you know, this digital revolution, not enough. Let's look at one more country, somewhere in the middle of US and India. UK. Here is the UK chart. Even for a longer period, this shows a consistent rise in number of jobs in grand scheme of things over a 150 year time frame. You can take the data from any country and I bet it shows similar graphs as long as the data is correct. So these graphs confirm that automation is increasing overall number of jobs. Do you agree? And these are statistics. These are not my feeling. Well, I know what you may be thinking. These graphs show the increase in number of jobs, but what about growing population and how these numbers adjust to the increase in population? Well, although these numbers should be sufficient to prove that the continued automation did not kill jobs or did not reduce the overall number of jobs, let's also look at the employment rate that adjusts to the population growth. These graphs should look like this if net jobs created by technology is negative or adjusted for population growth. But here are the facts around this piece of the puzzle. Now, again, starting with UK, here is the UK employment rate chart that shows that the rate has been pretty consistent, which proves that jobs are being created. More jobs are actually being created to meet the increased demand caused by population growth. Now, here is the India unemployment rate that has been pretty consistent. Again, this is the unemployment rate and that has been flat. And here is the US unemployment rate that has been pretty consistent as well. If you look at the big picture, there are a few ups and downs caused by other factors, but in the grand scheme of things, it's consistent especially in the context of today's discussion. So these facts clearly show that the number of jobs over time have been growing when adjusted to the growing population. So again, these are facts. But some of you may argue that this time will be different. And if you are one of those, I hear you. I don't blame you. It sure sounds scary this time, especially hearing about things like generative AI that is expected to generate literally everything humans generate today. But here is the point. If you look at the history, almost all major technological advances advancements were scary for the time period. I bet you they were scary for that time period because change is always scary, especially if the change is big. Do you see a reason the change we are currently undergoing will be much different than all the changes we and our, our ancestors went through? What do you think? Do you think this time it's going to be different? Even when you compare to all the major technological advancements we have been through? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Now, let us try and land this plane in the next video by talking about what you can do to tackle his inevitable change. So please stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.